today is a very special day for us because it's the first time um, that we've held what we call in, um, an orchestra experience day. It's a general need which, uh, to which York is no exception, that children need more opportunities to play with others. Uh, so we're trying to encourage more young musicians to get involved with playing in orchestras because we think that that's a large part of what playing an instrument is about and where a lot of the fun comes in. Becoming part of a group inspires you to, to carry on with your own, your own learning and then join others and have, have fun. I mean, it's, playing with others is, is a lot of fun. The Music Hub has been a great support. I mean, first of all, it came about uh, financially. They, we got um, a grant funded and that's enabled us to offer the, the day at um, an incredibly good value. And that's certainly attracting people who perhaps haven't tried it before. So we've asked the children to listen to a couple of different pieces of music and for one of them we've asked to create a, a score just using the oil pastels to draw what they feel as they're listening to the music and what they can hear and sort of their representation on paper of what they've listened to. You get to find out a little bit more about them and once they get the hang of the fact that they can't be wrong and they start to do it their own way and they did in that session just start to relax into it and you saw them stop looking at other people's and just think about their own and I think it's really interesting for us as teachers to see um, the different side of them, not always focusing on you know, spelling or maths, <laughs> it's, it's seeing that whole child and their little personality. Sort of grown to start recognising their feelings and emotions more um, and starting to think about rather than just happy and sad, the, the different emotions that you can feel within feeling happy, like excited or um, content as well as sad, you could feel angry and sad. They're learning to think, well actually I, I do feel like that, I feel angry, that's okay, but how am I going to deal with that, what can I do as a strategy to help me deal with that. If children are more focused and have a more mindful approach to work, it's been proven that they are more capable of being able to focus in and concentrate on the task in hand whether, rather than worrying about everything else that's going on. So we work with um, a group of young people, the idea being to sort of further develop the skills that they've been developing around uh, music technology, music production, um, performance skills like DJing and MCing. We were talking about young people who have, who have been really lacking opportunity, missed out on education, not been part of mainstream education and to look at trying to signpost and progress them onto like other things, things that we were providing ourselves but also things coming from other education providers locally. Audi on the track, that's dirty. I'd like a bit in the game. Spit like I've done it from 15 to 30. I very much doubt many men could murk me. I'm climbing Something that we're, we're looking to do is to uh, empower young people who will feel that education as a whole and within that music education is, is like inaccessible to them. So we were looking to sort of, during the 16 weeks, to really move them on to sort of a, yeah, to like an intermediate level where they could be looking at accessing level one, two courses. Musical Inventions is about combining traditional instruments with non-traditional instruments and it's inspired by the concerto for turntable and orchestra. We're doing a piece for like Musical Inventions where we had to write our own piece of music and I'm um, in a group where we're using water as a non-traditional element with other instruments such as my saxophone as a traditional element. We're usually like confined to a certain key and things so it's been, it's quite nice to uh, to actually get to like have some freedom to do things. Normally I'm at home and I inform to like four or five people, but now I get informed to like well, like lots of people, like four schools, and it's good to like be like listen to everyone else and yeah. 
Some of the pieces themselves are surprising, you know, there's some of the pieces there that I wouldn't have thought of. Well, the reason why we're using these shoes is because like, we're using them for the refugees. The uh, research, schools research project that was run by the York Music Hub highlighted the fact that there are still uh, weaknesses in singing in schools. So we uh, designed our project to address these weaknesses by CPD. They're getting ideas, they're getting usable skills, they're getting information, they're getting, they will get resources um, and references to resources at the end of the day and time with an absolutely marvellous expert in her own field. Too high for too long is, is dangerous because what's going to happen? Brain is going to say, oh this is really tiring, constrict. That's what happens to you at the end of the day, at the end of the week, when you are tired it just gradually starts to constrict here and that's when your voice becomes in, in danger, in jeopardy really. There are a few people who are really confident teaching singing in schools and what we need is more people teaching singing well. One of the things that we did at the Hobmore Oaks was to use the school's own iPads and we found that they're a great way for children with perhaps limited movement to access a vast range of brilliant musical sounds. Key aim of this project was to ensure that underused resources were brought back into life and perhaps more importantly the usual teaching staff were given the confidence to use those on a weekly basis with the young people with whom they work. I think the key thing really is that the children were starting to enjoy music making and that's that kind of excitement about music is a real benefit to the children and it has knock-on effects to the rest of their lives as well in terms of confidence and abilities. Because of the nature of music teachers and, the, and the, the jobs that we do, we don't get an opportunity to, to en encounter other people doing the same job. That an opportunity like this, just to network, to meet, to share ideas. Days like this leave teachers feeling inspired and excited and rejuvenated and ready to carry on and share that with their children. You know, it gives you like uh, uh, kind of like a broader range of like possibilities. We've been playing the taiko drums and we've all built together a big band music thing and it's very good. It's really nice to play as a big group instead of always just separate. It's really good because you get to play with other people who are at different experiences and can learn from them. Everyone seems to be really friendly and it was really fun. We have a sharing session at the end of the day. Parents come along and see what the kids have been doing and uh, have a good day. Have an enjoy it's all about enjoyment. Yeah.